Have you ever wondered why certain individuals seem to attract others like a magnet, regardless of their physical appearance? It's a thought that has likely crossed your mind, sparking curiosity about the mysterious realm of attractiveness. In our quest to comprehend this elusive trait, we often find ourselves entrenched in the physical. Yet, attractiveness extends far beyond the superficial. It encompasses a myriad of elements, each playing a vital role in shaping the magnetic pull we feel towards others. Understanding this concept can revolutionize our personal and professional relationships, allowing us to connect on a deeper, more meaningful level. Attractiveness, in essence, is a tapestry woven with threads of personality, charisma, empathy and confidence. These components often overshadow physical attractiveness, leaving an indelible impression on those we encounter. So, if it's not just about the looks, then what truly makes a person attractive? It turns out, attractiveness isn't all about looks. So what's the secret? Scene script. Science has been investigating the mysteries of attraction and has come up with some fascinating findings. Let's delve into the intriguing world of human attraction. You might think it's all about looks, right? But research paints a different picture. It's less about how you look and more about who you are. Recent studies have shown that traits like kindness, confidence, humor, and empathy are incredibly valuable in the eyes of those we seek to attract. Let's start with kindness. It turns out that being kind can make you more attractive, especially in long-term relationships. Kindness signals that you're a good partner, someone who can provide support and care when needed. Then there's confidence. It's magnetic. Confidence communicates that you're comfortable in your own skin and that's attractive. It shows you're not afraid to be yourself, to take risks, to stand up for what you believe in. Next up, humor. Who doesn't love a good laugh? Humor not only lightens the mood, but it also builds connection. It's a way of saying, hey, we're on the same wavelength here. And let's not forget empathy. It's the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Empathy shows that you're not just focused on yourself, but also on the needs and feelings of those around you. But there's more. Shared interests and values also play a crucial role in attraction. They provide common ground, a base from which a relationship can grow. When you share interests and values, you're more likely to understand each other, to get each other's jokes, to respect each other's decisions. So, what's the take-home message here? Being attractive isn't just about having a pretty face or a fit body. It's about being a good person, someone who is kind, confident, funny, empathetic, and shares similar interests and values. So, being attractive is less about physical appearance and more about who you are as a person. Now, let's delve deeper into how these findings apply to various types of relationships. In the realm of romantic relationships, attraction often takes center stage. It's a dance of physical appeal, emotional connection and intellectual stimulation. Our partners are drawn to our strengths but also to our vulnerabilities as these reveal our authenticity and humanity. It's about showcasing your best qualities while also being honest about your flaws. This delicate balance breeds intimacy and fosters a deep sense of attraction. Let's shift gears and talk about friendships. Here, attractiveness takes on a different hue. It's less about physical appeal and more about shared interests, mutual respect and emotional support. Our friends are attracted to our reliability, our sense of humor, and our ability to listen and empathize. They value our authenticity and our willingness to be there for them in times of need. Attraction in friendships is all about being genuine and dependable. Next, we have professional relationships. In this context, attractiveness is often associated with competence, confidence, and charisma. Colleagues and superiors are drawn to individuals who exhibit expertise and dedication in their work, who communicate effectively and who have a positive attitude. In the professional world, it's about being respected for your skills and admired for your work ethic. Attraction here is about professional prowess and personal integrity. Understanding these different facets of attraction can help us navigate our relationships more effectively. By recognizing what makes us attractive in each context, we can amplify those traits and foster stronger connections. It's about understanding the dynamics at play and using this knowledge to our advantage. But remember, attraction isn't just about making others like us. It's about being the best version of ourselves so we feel good about who we are. It's about cultivating qualities that make us feel proud and fulfilled 
and that in turn radiate outwards, drawing others in. Understanding these factors can be the key to enhancing your attractiveness in any relationship. Now that we know what factors contribute to attractiveness, how can we cultivate these qualities? First and foremost, let's talk about empathy. Being able to understand and share the feelings of others is a magnetic trait. It's like a beacon that draws people in. So how can we become more empathetic? Start by becoming a good listener, really hear what people are saying and respond in a way that shows you understand. Practice putting yourself in someone else's shoes. This not only broadens your perspective, but also deepens your connections with others. Next up is sense of humor. Laughter is indeed the best medicine, and it's also a fantastic attraction booster. You don't have to be a stand-up comedian to develop a sense of humor. Simply take life a little less seriously. Learn to laugh at your mistakes and find humor in everyday situations. Surround yourself with people who make you laugh and see how this changes your outlook. Confidence is another key trait. People are drawn to individuals who are comfortable in their own skin. But cultivating confidence isn't about becoming someone you're not. It's about embracing who you are, flaws and all. Start by celebrating your strengths and achievements. Set small, achievable goals and work towards them. With each accomplishment, your confidence will grow. Remember, confidence isn't about being the best, it's about being the best version of yourself. In addition to these, maintaining a positive attitude, practicing kindness and showing genuine interest in others are also powerful ways to boost your attractiveness. Remember, attractiveness isn't just about physical appearance. It's about who you are as a person. Cultivating these traits not only makes you more attractive to others, but also contributes to your personal growth. So keep exploring, keep learning and keep growing. The journey to becoming more attractive is a journey of self-discovery and personal development. It's a journey well worth taking. The real power of attraction lies not in how others perceive us, but how we perceive ourselves. We've all heard the phrase, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But have you ever considered that the most influential beholder might be you? Yes, you. How you see yourself plays an astounding role in how attractive you are to others. Let's delve into the realm of self-perception and self-confidence. These two elements are the unsung heroes behind the magnetic allure we often admire in individuals. When you hold a positive self-image, an infectious energy radiates from within you, naturally drawing people towards you. You become like a beacon of light in a room full of shadows. How, you may ask? This simple yet profound phenomenon unfolds through an intricate dance of psychology and sociology. When you perceive yourself positively, you emanate self-assuredness and confidence. This energy is palpable and others, consciously or subconsciously, pick up on it. It's an almost magnetic force that makes you more approachable, more likable, and yes, more attractive. But remember, this isn't about creating a false persona or trying to fit into society's narrow mold of attractiveness. This is about embracing who you genuinely are, celebrating your uniqueness and letting that shine through. It's about enhancing your natural qualities, not disguising them. This is where the real power of attraction lies. It's not in the latest fashion trends or the most expensive cosmetic products. It's not even in the most chiseled physique or the most symmetrical face. It's in your belief in yourself, your acceptance of your strengths and weaknesses and your confidence that you are enough just as you are. So the next time you find yourself doubting your attractiveness, take a moment, look within and remind yourself of your worth. Embrace your quirks, your passions and your individuality because these are the things that make you uniquely you and they are incredibly attractive. Remember, being attractive isn't about changing who you are, it's about embracing and enhancing what you already have. Wow, what a journey we've taken today, exploring the fascinating world of attraction, from the science behind attraction to its power within ourselves and our relationships. We've seen that attractiveness is so much more than meets the eye. It's about understanding ourselves, embracing our individuality, and letting our unique light shine brightly. But remember, attraction is a vast and complex topic, and there's always more to learn. That's why we're here at Cool Stuff Channel 23, to keep exploring, keep learning, and keep sharing the coolest stuff with you.
So if you've enjoyed today's episode and want to keep expanding your mind with us, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Not only does it help support our channel, but it also ensures you won't miss out on any future episodes. We've got a lot more mind-blowing content coming your way. In our next episode, we'll be delving into another intriguing topic that's sure to pique your curiosity. Can you guess what it might be? Well, we're not going to spoil the surprise just yet. You'll have to stick around to find out. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting and enlightening content. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning and remember, you're more attractive than you think. See you next time with another mind-blowing episode here on Cool Stuff Channel 23.